What's up everybody, it's Easy, it's Street Gaming, bringing you another Brutal Age video, first ranked match of 2019 on the channel, got a mixed match, bunch of videos, a uh, bunch of replays from a couple different servers, first replay is from the first server I ever played in, uh, server 287, uh, happened to catch something in, in the world chat that I had never seen before, and it, they were updating the members of the server, that their player had won or lost, and they were playing for third place, so I guess they announced it on each server that they the, both players were in. So this is Weed from 287 playing against someone's name I can't pronounce or can't read because it's in Chinese. <laughs> I did get the name in the, in the beginning, so for all of you that can read it, it's in the beginning. Uh, Weed, I believe, is on the right-hand side. The Chinese player is on the left-hand side. And the, probably, the biggest, uh, probably the biggest impact is going to be the Ursula, Ursula Huntre Huntress at the third awakening. That and maybe uh, the, the the Red Nomad also had a big impact on this match. Uh, Red Ursula, I think we have her a little later on in the um, in the video today. My dog's going crazy. I think people just don't understand that I need quiet when I record. <laughs> so anyway, the Red Nomad was looking for other other heroes that had similar talents to Red Nomad. Did find one. It was the the green. Or also does retaliation at the third level of awakening. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, and this is some of my. I wanted to put some different teams together that we haven't seen too much. So I put together this team. This is uh, Blue Zera, which we haven't really seen blue. We've seen red every once in a while. And then we have the Green Green Tree Man. Uh, again, don't see him very often. Red has is a pretty strong at the third awakening. And then the Blue Marksman. And I believe green is the strongest of those and then of course everyone's favorite the valley And that's how fast that that went by fast. I guess when you uh Really suck. Oh, and that now we also have my my comic building <laughs> You think I don't have nothing to do all day Okay, now I'm gonna move on to, to this one of my main servers server 323. This is a good friend of mine one of the villains of the server uh, to most people, but uh, to me, one of my dearest friends, his name is Wicked. He uh, doesn't ever give me weird plays when he wins, just so you guys know. Um, he likes to show off other teams. He knows he's confident in his team, but he wants to show off other teams, and if they're good enough to beat him, I think then he, they're worthy of the channel. So here's a team. That, now they have the opposing team has a kind of interesting team. They have the Red Little Ghost. They also have the, the Red Tree Man at the third level of Awakening, and the tree man well let's start the little ghost has a revive so when other players in the team die a uh, little ghost will bring him back I think he just brought back uh, and he only brings it back with like one hit point left but still he still comes back and they usually get an attack in uh, so now wickets all the way down to, to the red nomad or to, I'm sorry the blue nomad uh, little ghost just brought back in uh, the drum beater drum beater's got that one attack bam bam bang or bang 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 that gives a shield to the lowest player. It buffs up the whole team. And uh, and then you have the Tree Man that has the Elderberry attack. Elderberry is a third awakened attack. And it's it's a strong attack. It attacks everybody. It does like between, I don't know, four and 5,000 damage each. Wicked is holding on tight to the very end. He's got, the, he's got his Blue Nomad just barely hanging on to life. Finally, the Red Nomad takes him out. And here's another team with two Red Ursulas. This is Basil. He's also from 323. Playing against another player from 323, Project Mayhem. They managed to match up each other, to each other in the ranked matches. Both very good players. Uh, Basil's one of the strongest players on the server. Uh, Red Mayhem. Uh, yeah, Red Mayhem. Project Mayhem. Leader in, in his clan. Uh, not clan leader, but a leader in stature. He, he has the, the green cha-cha, which will never die she will continue to take life from everyone else in the team until they are under 30% hit points themselves so and she takes like 10% from each one of them so as long as they have life she can't die 
and it's the, the way it happens is most uh, the reds will all always attack green first and the lowest green will be her because she's going to keep on coming back to life so they're kind of stuck on her but there's a, there is a kind of bad side to it um, at times because she is taking 10% from everyone else it's kind of this double-edged sword when, when, when she wins it's because everyone's stuck on her and they don't attack anyone else and the rest of the team beats down the, the opposition when your team loses with her in there it's because every time she gets hit she turns a single target attacker into a multi -atta target attacker by taking 10% from everyone else in the team <clears throat> so depending on how you look at it um, right now I think she's a really strong partner if people learn the quirks about her she may actually be, uh, she may compromise the team. I don't, I don't know yet. But here, and also, Project Mayhem hasn't quite finished off upgrading all of his heroes. So a little advantage to Basil right from the, right from the get-go with a very strong team. That's the top, top 50 team in all ranked matches. Here's a new player to the channel. His name's The Legend. He's from Server 323, the Actives Clan. He's up against server 431 and if you can read that there it is <laughs> I have no idea where, where to start now this this is actually a pretty good team the legend is using the blue colonel and three blue nomads three blue nomads <laughs> uh, blue colonel has the battle pioneer which gives the enduring healing for three rounds so it's a pretty strong partner uh, up against uh, his opponent has the leader skill with speed and that's the uh, that's from the, the green god of earth and with god with the green god of earth also the green cha-cha and the green uh, catfish fighter green catfish fighter being probably one of my definitely top five in my in my, in my opinion um, it's a very unique um, partner because of his passive skill with the shield he'll give a shield even if he's being restrained in most cases Unless they have, uh, I think there's one restraint that, that doesn't allow the passive skills to go through it. But if he's being stunned, let's say, by the blue nomad, by the blue shaman, it's really early. <laughs> uh, so his head's spinning. He'll still give the shield. That's a really strong ability. And uh, there, goes the, there goes the green god of earth. Green god of earth, of course, has the, uh, the lightning. And along with lightning he'll also he also has uh, um, a buff for his whole team where he rejuvenates all of the, the action bar for the whole team so a couple of really good skills for the for the green god of earth as well but the legend bringing three nomads uh, one's third awakened the other two are still on the way there uh, once that team gets uh, once that team is fully upgraded uh, all of them to level 40 and all three all of them third awakened that will be a strong team to beat um, I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't really thoroughly investigated um, how he's got them all upgraded or, or what war patterns that they have on them. Um, you know, the Blue Nomad, as strong as he is, you can really you can enhance him a lot if you get his hit points to 25,000 plus 25,000 or more, which I see it a lot. So you can do it. Um, I I tried Ian war pattern on him, and although it did work, um, it gave him about. Uh, I don't know 25% more hit points over his own ability, which is invincible uh, But I don't think I'll do that again <laughs> Okay, moving on this is this is 323 splash up against another Chinese player I've got all the all the Chinese names in there, but um, I don't know how to say any of them So I'm gonna let you guys go with that I went over the white white lettering with, with black so you guys can see it a little better Splash comes in now the last time I had him on the channel he lost to the green cha-cha was the first time I had ever seen the, the cha-cha in action in action uh, She was uh, rejuvenated. I think 14 times uh, since then we've learned a lot about them Splash's opponent has the the red cha-cha now she has a, a, a unique ability as well She has bloodlust now what bloodlust does is it takes 80% of whoever on your team has the most hit points so 80% you know probably taking it from blue nomad in this case and I believe both of splashes blue nomads have plus 30,000 hit points and then the, whatever regular hit points he has probably 10 or 15,000 there too so 80% of that taking about 30,000 hit points in one shot and that's when she dies she takes 80% of the uh, opponent's hit points 
So that's her special ability. Now blue, blue is a buff specialist and a debuff sp specialist. Uh, let's see, I think blue has what's called uh, the Dark Doom. And that's uh, a, a pretty big buff for the whole team. Uh, he buffs the, the, his own team while taking, by randomly taking a buff from the other team. Something to remember, whenever you have a partner that does a random buff, that's actually a really big ability because they will give some of the unique buffs in the game. Um, I've watched them give uh, the Thor's Curse and uh, Amnesia and Inertia, some that you don't see very often. Um, I actually saw that with the Green Scarecrow. Okay, so I'll stop right there in mid-thought. Time is up. Been waiting for this the whole video to show the one attack as this one finishes out. Show the one attack that beats them all. Probably the largest damage in one attack that, I, that I've ever seen. Uh, probably the largest damage in one attack that you've ever seen. And it's a very short clip. It was actually the whole attack, but just the way I got it, it was, it was hard for me to get the whole thing. So it's kind of going to be really quick. This was sent to me from Forsaken One from the Barbecue Clan in, in Server 414. Starts off with the Prophet's Misfortune. Then, right after that's the Falcon Cry from the Desert Prince. And then, the Hilterberry Branch from the Red Tree Man. Let's look at it one more time. And it, it happens real quick. There's the Elderberry Branch that takes out everyone. They were almost all full health. Here's a, I stopped to so you everyone can see exactly the damage. I know it's kind of blurry because I had to blow it up real big. Came off the phone. That's 66,000, 54,000, 66,445 damage. Elderberry does more, 50% more damage for each debuff that's on them. And you see they all have at least three debuffs. I mean, he's just a badass. Who would have think that a two-star would end up like that? Thanks everyone for watching. Pretty soon I'll be able to get all the replays that you guys have. That's coming up soon. I'll tell you how. So, appreciate everyone. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.